Shooters, stand by. Targets. The combat marksmanship program in a whole is the program that we use to train Marines to be able to not only be competent marksmen, but also combat marksmen, which there really is a difference. A competent marksman can be at a prone position at any type of yard line with a specific weapon and know how to hit a target. A combat marksman knows that there's no such thing as the perfect scenario. They have to be able to react to a thousand different things to be able to make sure that they're maintaining those shots on target, not only keeping themselves alive but keeping their fellow Marines alive well in a combat situation. So it builds off of basic marksmanship and then leads up to being competent combat marksmen. We uh, shoot from the 25 yard line up to the 5 yard line and then we do after this we do unknown distance where we don't know how far the targets are and then we uh, at night we come back and do a night shoot, which is the same thing that we're doing right now, the short distance 25 yard line to the 5 yard line. Same thing. Target! But because uh, like in combat there's going to be, you don't know what sort of situation you're going to be at, they're not always going to be in front of you, they're not always gonna, you're not always going to be like standing there. Move! One of the biggest things as Marines is we're always riflemen first and this type of training gets people into the combat mindset as well as understanding how to do things safely in combat where you're going to have lots of moving parts, lots of people moving around you and making sure that you've still got those eyes on the target, you've still got the ability to be able to keep your head and be able to listen to exactly what's going on. Cease fire, cease fire. A lot of them it's refamiliarization with the weapons as well as getting them into that combat mindset which is the biggest thing is understanding how to do things. Like all things that we train for, if it's something that's completely new, it's something that can completely screw with an individual's ability to, to think properly. By doing these types of training events, they're able to put themselves in that mindset so that it's not something new, it's something familiar. It's something that they can do without losing their heads. From a good prone position. He's in the prone. Prone. Target. Marines assigned the 3rd Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment, conducted a combat marksmanship program live fire range aboard Camp Pendleton, California, June 29th of 2015. 
The course of fire not only builds muscle memory, but applies to real world situations where the Marines may have to engage enemies in close quarter combat. It's important to retain the basics because in order to advance in our training, we need to, we always go back to the basics. Everything revolves around the basics. Going back to the basics allows the Marines to be more proficient with advanced operations. It leads to running LFAMs, which is light fire maneuver ranges, uh, going into buildings, taking over buildings, uh, applying it, you know, just going from regular conventional warfare to urban warfare. The training applies to a real world situation by letting us be able to engage the enemy not only from you know, 300, 400 meters, but you know, 20, 30 meters away. Forward movement, failure to stop. Forward movement, failure to stop. Move for that, take your line to that five. Stand by, move. Basically, we were doing close range firing with uh, the M16 or the M4, whichever weapon uh, the Marines out here have. There's a lot of Marines out here that I've talked to. It's the first time shooting with the RCO. A lot of them have already uh, you know, been used to the iron sights, which is also good. But uh, this gives everybody a chance to get out here and get used to shooting that weapon system. And so, so it's not the first time they shot it when we get over in country. The purpose of this type of training is basically just to uh, increase the proficiency for each Marine to have uh, a little more confidence with their with their weapon systems. So, uh, with that with that being said, you know in the Marine Corps, I think that's something that sets us apart. Uh, everybody expected to know how to use their weapon system, regardless of what influence they have, because you never know if you're on a convoy, whatever the case may be. Cease fire! Cease fire! At this time! At this time! Go ahead, unload that magazine. Basically, to get to that point, you got to become a combat marksmanship trainer. First thing you got to do is become a coach, spend a certain amount of time as a coach, or have range operations in your billet. Target. Basically, just to make you a little better and learn how to pass on the information and be an instructor. And then once you do that, you'll learn more in depth about range operations and what you have to do to make the range run smoothly and how to call the commands and how to make sure everybody's doing what you're supposed to do. I really love seeing the guys have fun. I mean, I love to go out there and shoot, and I know that everybody loves to go out there and shoot, but nobody wants to go out there to shoot if the rain doesn't run smoothly. Everybody can enjoy going out there and shoot. Not everybody gets to spend as much time with their weapons as they would like to. So just facing movements, movement, moving forward, things like that, make sure everybody can perform what you're asking them to do proficiently. So I take it very seriously to go out there and make sure that things are being run smoothly. Overall, uh, this is probably one of the better ranges I've been on. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Every, everybody out here knew what was going on. Uh, we could work hand in hand with uh, the other CMT, Staff Sergeant McDaniels, and it was run really smooth, I think. <laughs>